Now here are your starting lineup. Starting lineups. First, our guest from Hillhead Island High School, the Seahawks. Number one, Emily Fister. Number five, Robin Cross. Number eleven, Leah Jackson. Number twelve, DJ Gatson. And number twenty-one, Emilia Wilton. And now the starting lineup for your May River Sharks. Starting at a guard, a junior, number 10, Brooke Dalton. Starting at another guard, a junior, number 11, Mia Taylor. Starting at a post position, a junior, number 24, Emma Fott. Starting at another post position, a junior, number 25, Williams. And starting at a guard, a freshman, number 30, Elizabeth Duncan. Head coach of the Sharks is Jermaine Bingham. From the Shark Tank, it is WHHI's Girls Game of the Week presented by Summit Services here on WHHI Sports TV. Hi again, everybody. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Jeremy Pope, Larry Jackamon with you. It is the Sharks. It is the Hilton Head Seahawks. We're underway in the girls' game of the week as the tip goes to the Lady Sharks. They take it from right to left on your television, and we've got a whistle just a few seconds in, 10 seconds in. We'll get you the starting lineups right now. Brooke Dalton, Nia Taylor, Elizabeth Duncan, Emma Fought, and Ashley Williams, the starters for May River. Hilton Head with the basketball in the Carolina Blue. And their starters are Emily Fister, Lawton Cross, Leah Jackson, Deja Godson, and Amaya Roten. That shot misfires and it's going back to May River. May River coming in over 500 at six and one. And Hilton Head coming in at five and 13 on the year. That ball is tipped and it's loose on the floor. Hilton Head has a chance to pick it up. Going inside, miss layup on the right side. And Kev, when you take a look at this matchup, could be really interesting tonight as Hilton Head puts it up. And in, actually, May River, beg your pardon, puts it up and in for two off the right side to make it 2 nothing. Nia Taylor, nice shot. Yeah, man, look at the defense. I love the press action. I think it's going to be all about ball control, team play, good passing. We'll get your coach's keys and some numbers and whatnot as the night continues. That shot a little bit off the mark on a second chance. Going inside, putting that one up and down is number 11 for Hilton Head. That is Leah Jackson. She's a post player. She's going to the line for an and one. And Summit Services is our presenting sponsor. Summit Services, your leader in home performance services in the low country. Thanks to Summit Services for supporting WHHI sports all year long. That is a three point play courtesy of Leah Jackson and courtesy of Court Lifestyle Pros as well. Court Lifestyle Pros at Charter One Realty. Let us lead you home. Nice pass inside. May River trying to get a two on the left side of the post. Can't do it. And Hilton Head will retain possession of the basketball. That's stolen away. May River's got it. May River walking a thin line as Duncan goes inside hard from that right baseline. She gets bumped and she looks dead to the line. Two nothing, actually, three two now with 6.30 to go in the opening quarter. Elizabeth Duncan, the leading scorer on this team, is a freshman. Very impressive, no doubt about that. Duncan at the line, misfires on the first. Again, 3-2 in favor of Hilton Head. Hilton Head and May River come in. As Duncan remains at the line, Hilton Head 5-13, 0-2 overall and 7-4A, 6 in the region, 1-5 at home, 2-5 on the road, 2-5 on the neutral floor. So they go across the floor, averaging 40.3 points per game, giving up 49.7, riding a six-game losing streak. Hilton Head working outside in. Jackson with a jumper, a little bit off the mark. And the rebound, it's on the floor, battling for it. And we'll find out as we've got a whistle. Looks like maybe a held ball there, Kev. Yes, sir. And Hilton Head will be on defense on the side of May River. They're 6-1 on the season, 1-0 in 7-4-8, first in the region, 3-0 at home, 3-1 on the road, a six-game winning streak since losing the opener to Ridgeland. They're averaging 46 points per game, giving up 27.1.
Both teams, though, aren't quite as good or bad as we've heard from the coaches. As you expect, beautiful pass from right to left. Put that one up and in as Hilton Head is able to score it inside. That is number 21 and beautifully done by Amaya Roten, guard post player. Number 21, and she's going to the line. Five to two with 5.54 remaining in the opening quarter. We've got guests, we've got stats, we've got a whole lot of info for you tonight. Already, heck of a ball game to start. Nia Taylor got that started down the other end, and just like you practice it, a beautiful weave. So Roten is at the line, looking for this bucket, and it's off the iron to the left. Rebound, though, Hilton hit. They are in the Carolina blue again, and they're going to throw it away as Jackson couldn't find anybody. Sticking to her like Elmer's glue was number 24, and that's well done by Emma Fought. She's a post player that can get outside and score the basketball. As that goes up and down to make it seven to two in favor of Hilton Head. They obviously are a lot better than that five and 13 record, but without the likes of oh, wow. certainly one Linda Young, it makes it tough, Kevin, as we have a little bit of hot potato with the basketball. That's a 10 second backcourt violation. How about that for some pressure defense? creating a turnover. 5.35 to go, and in talking to Jeremiah Bigham, the AD and head coach of the girls earlier this week, he said, we're six and one, and we haven't played as much, but we are not quite to where we need to be yet. May River with substitutions coming in. One for sure is number 13. CJ, there's a bucket, baby. Well oh. done. That was. Pretty. CJ Shally comes in. Thank you, Kev. As it is 10 to 2. Shy Bonner wasn't shy about that three. What a beautiful shot. 10 2 in favor of Hilton Head right now. They've got the basketball and they're coming out very tenacious right now for being a 5 and 13 team, as we I just mentioned. They're definitely a little bit better than that. They just ran flex, and that was a nice offensive set. Nice pass. Going inside out, working it around. They're really doing a great job with the ball rotation. This is what good is coaching looks like, Marcus. This is nice. They continue to just fire it away. And beautiful crisp passing. You know I love that. There's a three from the right wing, a little bit off the mark. Coach Russell Resniewski on the side of Hilton Head. And for May River, I mentioned the aforementioned AD and head coach Jermaine Bigham going inside, not able to get that go is May River. We've got a whistle, 440 to go in the quarter. Daniel Godson is here, and he's going to join me in the second quarter of this matchup, so stay tuned for that and more. Reminder, the food came from Chicken Salad, Chicka Bluffton tonight. Delicious, scratch-made Southern style and served from the heart. Love that fancy Nancy. You and me Four, both on that one today, Marcus. 440 to go, that's right. You got the salad variety as we had a whistle off the inbound pass. May River had it, they lost it. And Hilton Head's gonna get the basketball back. Four minutes, 40 seconds to go. Just a couple fouls for each team so far in this first quarter of action. And coming in for May River is Nia Taylor. She's quick, athletic, a steel getter, says Jermaine Bigham. And coming in on the other side is Amaya Roten. Guard post player. Bigham's after my heart. I think they're going to 1 3 1. And Hilton Head's going to have the basketball. They're going to drive it inside, putting that one up, not able to get it to go for Hilton Head is Deja Godson, the point guard, number 12. 431 to go. And of course, daughter of Daniel Godson, who will join me in the second quarter. She's a star. She sure is. No doubt about that. We'll get some keys from both these coaches Let me apologize. here in just a second. I'm sorry I'm talking over you, Marcus. I gotta apologize. I think I called Shy Bonner on her three ball earlier. You did, yes. Thank you for, for getting that into the record. Nice, nice shot, kid. And I, I looked at CJ and I thought to myself, that's the other roster. We yep, all do yep. it. I'm learning, I'm learning. But Deja, I'm gonna remember you, kid, because that was a heck of a everything. Nice, nice free throw. 12 to two. In favor of May River, 4.25 to go in the quarter. And near the baseline and touching it, I do believe there, 
was number 11. That was close, but Nia Taylor, a little bit of a tap of the baseline, so Hilton Head's going to have possession of the basketball. And the inbound goes, and there's a whistle as they were just trying to get it across into the front court from the back court. Next and to step. Yes, indeed. Let's, let's get some keys from both these coaches and uh, see what they have to say. Absolutely. Boxing out and sound defense was Russell Rasniewski's angle for this one. He, of course, is on that Seahawks side. Uh, for Coach Bingham, he told us all about a lot of what he loves about basketball. We're seeing his great philosophy. He says he wants to make the game a positive experience while making them the best basketball players they can be. He wants his players to understand how to play basketball, not just run plays. For coaches, keys again. You just what I'm seeing on his uh, response to us is, you know, he just wants to get these players into a good position. That's what coaches do. Set them up to win. His mentors: Lewis Jenkins, Gerard Sharp. Nothing like guy truly named Shark to Shark Tank. Roll that baby up and down for number ten, Brooke Dalton, primarily a ball handler that can indeed score. Bigham also said got a couple of players out with the flu. No injuries to key players. Six and one, not quite a six and one team yet. Very young, a lot of basketball to learn. So they'll continue to do that as we have a stoppage with three minutes and 39 seconds remaining in quarter number one. So I think Deja and Leah Jackson are really taking control, especially you can see it in the score. Um, look at the ball control, real nice. There's a jumper, a little bit off the mark. At courtesy of number 12, Deja Gotson is going back to the team in white. That's the May River Sharks. Gotson nearly with the steal. Ball near that baseline and another whistle. Marcus, did you know that to travel, you have to be in possession of the ball? That's very true. While I'm thinking of it with that whistle, our officials tonight, Rick Puente in his 33rd year, Mike D'Elia in his 14th year, and John Dodson, we saw him during football. He's in year number 15. <laughs> And we have another stoppage now with three minutes and 20 seconds left in the first quarter of a 12-4 matchup. The visitors from Hilton Head with the lead, but they're going to be on defense as getting ready to inbound is Elizabeth Duncan, a solid all-around player and the heart of the team. And her inbound goes to number 10, Brooke Dalton. Again, the ball handler primarily playing point, shooting from just inside the three-point line. She doesn't get it to go. And Jackson trying to get that rebound. It's another jump ball. I think you alluded to this, Kevin, but I'm going to mention it just again. A key to the game for Russell Rizniewski. Box out, have sound defense. Season's turned into a hot fought battle with the loss of Linda Young. Girls are playing hard, playing very competitively. Leah Jackson, nine points per game. Deja Godson, nine points per game. Amaya Roten, nine points per game for Hilton Head on the offensive side of the basketball as they are on offense. How about that for a good segue? Here's a drive, looking inside, now kicking it back out, jumper for three, well off the mark. Jackson trying to get the rebound, she can't, but it was kicked back over. Now we have a little bit of a scrum. Hilton Head's gonna retain possession. Sorry, Kev, I bumped you with my hey, pencil. 2.40 to go. How about an offensive bump? Nice defense by the kid, way to keep your feet in place. That's a tough call to draw, but that's a offensive foul. Two minutes, 38 seconds remaining. A reminder that Sports Addiction is your bike, sports, and fitness equipment store for over 20 years. That's two decades, folks. There's a shot, a little bit off the mark, courtesy on the left side from Elizabeth Duncan. It was looked like it was just inside three land as Hilton Head's gonna have possession of the basketball. Jackson. Going to kick it outside. Here's Deja Godson with it at the top of the key. Godson with 2.09 to go, trying to make a move. Good play, courtesy of getting by Nia Taylor. Shot goes up inside, misfires, and it's going back to May River. And going across the floor is Brooke Dalton for May River. And we have a whistle with a minute 58 remaining in the opening quarter. And so far, May River hasn't been able to get the shots down, Kev but they are playing physical with this Hilton Head team. That's the one difference that I see so far as we've got a minute 58 remaining in quarter number one. I like the press action, I like the court vision, and I like the handle. Even the bigs can dribble through a little bit of traffic here. One minute, 58 seconds to go. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Jackamot, Jeremy Pope. 
Sam Wolf, my girlfriend here, helping us out a little bit as well. There's a jumper from the outside. Deja God, uh, rather, <laughs> sorry, Daniel Godson will join me in the second quarter. We're all here with you here on WHHI Sports TV. It's the girls' game of the week in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series. Only on WHHI Sports, that jumper from inside two is way long. That second chance, courtesy of Jackson, is short. She gets a rebound, third chance. Could be a charm, but we've got a scrum for the basketball inside the paint near the baseline. Rugby references, Marcus. Good illusion. That's why rugby has a scrum, right? Absolutely yeah. they do. Let's hear from Superior Services. Superior Services, make the superior choice. Your guys, Kim. I love Superior Services, they take care of business. Let's hear from Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth as well. Speaking of our guys, Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth, uniting the community to promote positive choices. May River with the basketball, down 12 to four with just over a minute to go in the first quarter. Duncan kicking it around. And the ball's turned over. Hilton Head with a great first quarter. They're gonna work around to that pass a little bit too much on it, and it goes right back to May River with 52 seconds remaining in the quarter. Driving inside, oh. losing the basketball momentarily. Nice pass, courtesy of Brooke Dalton, but the shot went inside. It didn't quite go for number 25, Ashley Williams. Strong around the basket and a good rebounder play in the post at center. She's going to the free throw line to shoot two and try to get May River and this deficit down to six. It's a nice combo with Dalton running the point and with Williams going ahead and handling the business inside, it's a nice way to balance the floor. Quick substitution, Marcus. CJ Sholley checking in for May River. Thank you very much. 47.8 to go, 12-4. That one goes down and it's 12-5 as she split the pair. Again, Daniel Godson will sit in your seat and join me for quarter number two. I'm keeping it warm for him. You got it. And he'll do the same for you, no doubt about it. <laughs> it's a team Hilton, sport. Hilton Head working inside out, now back in. Good ball passing and rotation. We've got a whistle. I will say before Daniel comes on, what I love about him is his mentality. It's a winning mentality. Yes. One of the great things that don't get taught you know, outside of a place like sports no is uh, what Isaiah Thomas from the Pistons called the secret, and that's team right. chemistry. Yep. Again, Rick Puente in his 33rd year officiating, Mike D'Elia in his 14th, and John Dodson in his 15th. They are our officials. As going inside was Hilton Ed not able to get that to go, but it looks like they're going to be heading to the line. Officials work to maintain the integrity of the sports they officiate and ensure student athletes have a safe environment to play them in. Without our officials, our student athletes would not be able to enjoy the sports they love. So show your appreciation to the unsung heroes of interscholastic contests today. That free throw went up and down, well done. As that was Emily Fister, first time calling her name here tonight. Definitely a key player to watch for Hilton. Ed. She's a guard and she's done really well over the last couple of years. She makes the next one as well. Book it two for two for Emily Fister, and it's 14 to five with 22 seconds remaining in the opening quarter of the girls' game of the week in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series, only on WHHI Sports TV. Here's some rotation inside out as May River goes back in. They're gonna try to put one up and a little bit off the mark of the front of the rim, courtesy of number 21 for May River, and that will end the quarter. We go to the second quarter, 14-5, Hilton Head with the lead. Daniel Godson joins me next in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series Girls Game of the Week. Come on back. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. 
I'm Daniel Court. And I'm Debbie Court. And we are Court Lifestyle Pros of Charter One Realty. Some of the buyers and sellers that we encounter naturally experience that fear of change. But we once heard that life truly begins at the end of our comfort zones. So if you're ready to make a change, give us a call and let us lead you home. We welcome you back to the Shark Tank here on the campus of May River High School. Joining me now, sitting in Kevin Libby's seat, is Daniel Godson. Daniel, of course, the father of Deja, as May River starts with the basketball and a misfire from Brooke Dalton. Hilton has got it. They've got the 14-5 lead. Daniel, how are you, my friend? I am great. Thank you for having me. Always an exciting time when we get WWE. W WHHI TV. I see all this action going on. I can't get the words out, but Mark, it's always a pleasure being with you guys. A lot of fun. Jackson miss, misfires, and it's going back the other way to May River. Talk a little bit about what you have going on. You're uh, you're with a new group. Yeah, doing I, work. We're getting a lot of work in. So Win Academy for success, our Win Basketball Academy, has just exploded. We have a lot of girls and boys in the Low Country that just want to train, have fun playing a game of basketball, and looking to take things to the next level for our area. And they include elementary schools at Academy, right? Yes, we go from essentially six years old up to college players. So uh, the, the large majority of the, the students that we have, sixth graders, fifth graders, getting ready for middle school, and then middle schoolers getting ready for high school basketball. Still 14-5 with 7.02 remaining in the first half. Talk a little bit about some of the highlights with that academy, both girls and guys. Oh, it's been great. Uh, this past summer, fifth grade, sixth grade, eighth grade, tenth grade boys, middle school and high school girls, we all won a championship in one of our tournaments throughout the low country, South Carolina and Georgia. We've got a timeout. We're going to take it as well. 6.59 to go in the first half. Be right back after this on WHHI Sports TV. Hang on, everybody. Announcing the inaugural season of college basketball at the University of South Carolina, Buford. Get ready to join in on the frenzy and excitement of college basketball as the Sand Sharks take on opponents at home in the USCB Recreation Center located on campus at One University Boulevard in Bluffton, South Carolina. You can find home and away game schedules for both men and women teams on uscbathletics.com. Don't miss this amazing season and catch the frenzy everyone is talking about. We welcome you back to the girls' game of the week in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series, only on WHHI Sports TV. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Jackamot, Jeremy Pope, and Daniel Godson joining you. Deja, his daughter, 9.1 points per game and 18% three-point shooter. As Hilton Ed has the basketball, what do you know? Deja's got it. She gives it off, and Hilton Ed, Oh, nice hustle by Nia. Great hustle. And there's a stoppage there as down goes number 10, Brooke Dalton. Nia Taylor with that steal. I'll tell you a fun fact about Nia. Go for it. Uh, her sister, uh, Kira, was a student of mine at Hilton Head Prep. Wow. I taught economics and ethics there, and she was a great student. Um, big Pittsburgh Steelers fan, and uh, great things happening with that family. I love seeing Nia out there hustling. So the economics and ethics class, was that one class or two different? Because one semester, two classes, one semester, and yes, it made for some great discussion. I have no doubt about it. <laughs> I took some ethics classes as well as economic classes when I was in college, and uh, I have no doubt, great discussion had by all, as May River couldn't quite get it back in bounds. Heading towards the baseline was Elizabeth Duncan, and she couldn't corral it or get it back in before she hit that baseline. Talk about what you see out of both these coaches, obviously knowing them in the area, Russell Rizniewski, and then obviously everything that Jermaine Bigham does for May River, being the girls coach for several years and the interim athletic director, and, and what you see out of both these guys and both these programs right now. I can tell you, even with the action currently going on, Jermaine, Coach Bingham is gonna have his girls play hard. He knew coming in this season that it was uh, what we call a rebuilding year, or it's got some young players that you had to develop, very young players, and then you got just a few returners. So Coach Bingham, he's been around, he knows what's going on. Oh, we Whistle. got a hard screen there. And definitely a hard screen is hitting the deck. 
Goes Nia Taylor, again, quick athletic and a steel getter for sure. 5.55 remaining in the quarter as May River will inbound Elizabeth Duncan to do that. And she finds number 10, Brooke Dalton. Yeah, so coach, coach has the girls playing hard. This is their first true test at a foray level. Uh, they played a few games uh, this season, but this is going to be the big test for them tonight to see what they can do. Nice shot there. 14-7. Uh, to 7. So here we go. Seahawks, Lady Seahawks. Coach R knew coming into this season this was uh, their year. Whistle. Timeout call. 534 to go. We indeed, we indeed do have a timeout. Thank you, Daniel. We'll take it. Be right back on WHHI Sports TV. It is the girls game of the week. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Five minutes, 34 seconds remaining in the opening half. Kevin will rejoin me for the third quarter, but joining me still here in quarter number two is Daniel Godson. Hilton Head with the basketball and a 14-7 lead, a touchdown lead over May River. It isn't football season, but football's getting hot with the playoffs in the NFL. As Hilton Head trying to get the basketball to open set of hands, the jumper misfired. That was, and, looks and like there was a whistle there. Jumper courtesy of number 13. I'm going to have to take Kat a look. Cat Gavin. Thank you. Cat Gavin. Cat Gavin put in some work with us this summer as well, along with Law and Crew Pros. You know, we have some juniors on that team that's really coming up, some sophomores coming up, and that's due really to that feeder program with Hilton Head Middle School. Coach Ronnie over there doing a great job. Here's Aliana. There's a loose Richard ball. Steel. Beautifully done. Driving inside. Nice pass. A little bit too strong, but Hilton Head going to corral it. I love the crisp passing and the inside out work as there's a jumper from inside, put it up and down. Lawton Crows right on cue. Lawton number five puts it up and down and it's 16 to seven with 440 to go in the half. Talk about this rivalry and some of the players, both girls and guys that catch your eye as Hilton Head is able to corral the basketball off a turnover. That's another That's another one there, another youngster coming up. Oh, look Stole at this. Stole it away. Nia Taylor with done. She puts Woo! it up and down as Nia Taylor Knocks that one in for two to make it 16 to nine. And May River not giving up yet. Another Loose ball steal. stolen away again. I tell you, these girls aren't gonna give up. Coach Finn gonna make them play hard. They might not have all the skill, but they got the will. That's that's very well said. Going inside, putting Boom. it up and down. Beautifully done for Brooke Dalton. And it's now a 16 to 11 ball game. May River down by five. They cut it to single digits. They turn the ball over and it's going back the other way. Deja, yes. Deja has to calm them down and, and start making plays. And that's and what she's, she's going to do. Now. It. Dodson gives it off. Or rather, Godson, I beg your pardon. There's a jumper in and out. Rebound goes back to Hilton Ed. Put that one up and down. Beautifully done inside. And Hilton Ed's got the 18 11 lead now with three minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the quarter. That daughter of yours is something, something pretty impressive. I appreciate I have to that, say. Marcus. Uh, here she is, a senior leader. Uh, she's been through it, and I tell you what, she's the top, one of the top three point guards in the area, leading the Seahawks in pretty much every category except rebounds. But here's the deal: that young group, that group that's out there. You, what you're looking at is the medal of. These young players that have won at the middle school level have been through the fire at the JV level, and they are ready and prepared for uh, varsity basketball. You're going to see a great group coming through the Hilton Head uh, High School girls basketball program as Hilton Head Middle School continues to feed them. That's there it and is. That's that crew right there. Beautifully These, done of the steal. They uh, ever had the possession off of a foul on uh, the was on Nia Taylor, but they ended up getting possession, turned it over, and it's going back the other way, as Daniel just said, a travel. So those, see the girls that are out there, Lawton, Ava, Jules, Kat, Gavin, Aliana Richards, Amaya, Leah Jackson, all these girls play for Hilton Head Middle School, and they and they won championships. Most of them been undefeated. Stolen away. Hilton Head's got numbers. Going inside, and then a foul inside. Put that up and down. Count it, and one more coming from the free throw line. And one, Godson. I tell you, she knows what she has to do. She's not a, 
Uh, she don't have the mindset of a scorer, but being down Linda Young, who's one of the top, the dominant scorer in this area, Deja knows she has to step up at times and not just distribute and playmate, but get buckets. And Deja Godson, one more coming up from the line. It's 20 to 11, 2.57 to go. That indeed is a three-point play courtesy of Court Lifestyle Pros. Daniel Court and his wife Debbie doing things in the low country. Court Lifestyle Pros of Charter One Realty. Let us lead you home. I'll tell you, Marcus, speaking of the rivalry, uh, if you will, you know, the rivalry comes because oh, a whistle that's, uh, illegal screen with 245 illegal screen indeed. But it comes from, I tell you, it comes from that middle school sector, man. Those girls battle it out. They want to win those middle school championships. They want to be recognized by their friends. And you got girls coming up now that's saying, hey, we got to get them back. Are we all still playing? Let's do it. As we have a timeout, I'll tell you what it reminds me of after this break. 2.45 to go, 21-11, Hilton Head over May River. Back with more right after this on WHHI Sports TV. Hey y'all, come check us out. Offering bicycle sales, bicycle service, and bicycle rentals for the low country. We offer all types of bikes for the beach, road, or trails. There's also trikes and recumbents along with home and commercial grade fitness equipment. We also provide other outdoor fitness equipment for pickleball, swimming, running, and tennis. Check out our two locations to serve you. Sports Addiction at 200 Okatee Village in the Okatee Shopping Center and for Bluffton Old Town Bike Barn at 28 Dr. Mellichamp Drive in the Promenade in Old Town Bluffton. We welcome you back. We've got two minutes, 39 seconds to play here in the opening half. We'll have the second half coming up shortly. Hilton Head with the basketball. They're working it around as driving inside, trying to put up a two. It got rejected. That was Fister, I do believe, down inside. Yeah, tough. Emily Fister is tough. She, she is a great player, and she's been a great player on this team for years. Yes, a, a huge contributor, especially on the defensive end. Uh, Emily, I believe, came out of St. Francis a Middle School, and she's been playing varsity since her freshman year with Deja and Linda. And uh, that, that trio, uh, including Maddie uh, Hall, was a, was a tough senior class this year. We had a whistle down on the far end as Brooke Dalton was taking the basketball. Again, she's a primary ball hander, handler, definitely can score. But you were talking about how the middle schools of these teams, and not just these two, but middle schools all around the low country, impact the junior varsity and varsity levels, even at, you know, sixth, seventh grade. And I think a huge reason of that, as I told you during the break, is just like the minor leagues in baseball or the G League in the NBA. People want to be inspired to get to that next level. And it starts at an early age in the will and testament of these athletes not to mention the coaches and families and parents. I say it all the time. That's huge. As that three bucket, I Love believe that Cruz. was a three. Crows knocks it down. It's 24-11, that indeed a three-point play courtesy of Court Lifestyle Pros of Charter One Realty. Let us lead you home. Lawton is such a tenacious defender. There she is, right there on the There she is again. Beautifully done as May River trying to corral the basketball on that possession and stole it away. Going inside, it's your daughter, Deja Gonson, putting it in for two. And it's 26-11 with a minute and four seconds remaining. What does May River have to do now? Down 15 with the final minute of this second quarter to try to get back in this game is driving inside, putting it up and in. Beautifully done by Brooke Dalton, the point guard. I guess that's a good start, right? That's a great start. What you have to do is play to your strengths, right? So. You know, they're, they're better moving the ball. They don't have the strongest ball handlers, but you got, oh, Deja's Man, Whoa, what a fight. Deja did it again. 28-13, 36 seconds remaining. Make the right call, become a high school official. Be the difference maker your community needs. High school graduation shouldn't have to end your involvement with high school athletics as driving around is Brooke Dalton. You can become an official by joining a local officials association sanctioned by the South Carolina High School League. Benefits of officiating, you can become physically fit, make new friends, become a positive influence in a young person's life, stay involved in a game that you love, or learn more about a new game, earn extra income, learn more about a sport that you love, give back to the community, become an official, be the difference that your community needs, highschoolofficials.com, or become an official on hashtag, on X. I still can't quite get the fact that it's X and not Twitter. Well, it just sounds you, funny. The X factor, as you were saying, is middle school. Giving these kids well something to look forward to. They uh, listen. 
babies cry for it, men die for it. We need to recognize these young players, make sure they understand that the game is fun, it, it has tremendous benefit, and they will improve starting at that middle school level. So shout out to Hilton Head Middle School for all the great things they've done. And we, we encourage all these girls to continue to play um, in the high school at the high school level. 28-13, Hilton Head with the lead. Dodson got it for three, off the mark. And that's gonna end the first half, 28 to 13. Daniel Godson of Wynn Academy, thank you for joining me, my guy. Appreciate it, and uh, good luck the rest of the way with Deja and company, and good luck with Wynn Academy. Thank you, Wynn BA, here we go. Sounds great, we've got third quarter action coming up after half. It's 28-13 in favor of Hilton Head over May River. It's the girls' game of the week in the high school basketball series on WHHI Sports TV. Come on back. Did you know your brain doesn't fully develop until your mid-20s? Substance use harms brain development, causes mental health disorders, and leads to addiction. E-cigarettes negatively affect oxygen supply, endurance, and attention. Marijuana affects reaction time, concentration, and decision making. Alcohol harms endurance, judgment, and complex motor skills. Pain medication and substance use increases mental health disorders and leads to addiction. All of these substances negatively affect brain development and function. Don't let your team down. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. We welcome you back. It's the third quarter of the girls game of the week in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series. It is Hilton Head with a 28 to 13 lead over May River. Hilton Head starting with the basketball and working as Fister throws up an awkward shot from inside three, misses May River and Hilton Head with a little bit of a scrum with the basketball. We've got a whistle. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Giacomo, Jeremy Pope. We just had Daniel Godson on for the second quarter. We'll have him on next week as well as these Hilton Head Seahawks will host Bluffton. Thoughts quickly on the first half, Kev. Oh, I'm just really happy Daniel was here for the Deja Godson show. She crushed it. Going inside, misfiring on that jumper was Ashley Williams, strong around the basket, a good rebounder. And the putback does go to make it 28 to 15. What does May River have to do with this 13 point deficit now to get back in this basketball game and uh, get a chance to get a win here at home? They gotta find some confidence. There's a shot. A little bit off the mark courtesy of number 21. That was well done, but again, a little bit strong, but Hilton Head gets the rebound. Yeah, it's Amaya Rotten. That That's a shot. Roten, yeah. Roten, thank you. Yeah, I mean, the, the girls on the May River side got to get some confidence. They got a great cheer squad here, and they have been loud all night. Well, I loved about hanging on the sideline watching Dale There's Dawson. a three. Roten oh, drains it. Wowza. That is a court lifestyle pros three-point play from Amaya Roten. Court Lifestyle Pros of Charter One Realty let us lead you home, and she delivered with that triple. Amaya, nice shot, kid. May River with the basketball. They're thinking maybe a three of their own, but no. Actually, it might be a little bit too strong. I think, yes, off a couple of areas from Naya Taylor, and it's gonna be up, and May River's gonna retain possession. Next chance, no. And they get a third opportunity. May River doing great on the boards. Taylor again, a little bit too strong. This time, Hilton Head comes down with it. And Godson, 12 points. Jackson, five points. Roten, two points. Fister, two points for Hilton Head. Taylor with four points for May River. And I believe the other set of points, nine points came from Brooke Dalton, the point guard. You have more numbers. Is Roten and Roten, a three point shooter at 15%, and she's averaging just under five rebounds a game at 4.8. Keep shooting that three ball. That one we saw was pure. 
31-15. Five minutes, 56 seconds to go. Summit Services, our presenting sponsor, your leader in home performance services in the low country. Thanks to Summit Services for supporting WHHI football and basketball all year long. I wanted confidence, and I'm seeing it. Nice shot. 5.50 to go, third quarter of a 31-15 Hilton Head lead. They come in 5-13 on the year. May River comes in 6-1. They haven't been playing as much basketball as Hilton Head. And we'll see the same situation in the guys' game with Hilton Head under 500 and uh, May River over 500. Again, not playing quite as much basketball. Hilton Head with the basketball going inside, just inside the three-point line, misfiring the shot and trying to get that one up and down for Hilton Head inside. That doesn't work, but we do have a Hilton Head Seahawk at the free throw line. Yeah, Lawton's going to get a chance to uh, get her shots from the stripe. It's the most efficient place to score in a basketball court. Hilton Head's solid all over. We're seeing their defense really starting to impact the outcome of the game. 31 points to this point in the ballgame means they're on pace to have a high scoring game, be able to spread around and get their bench in. Um, I'm really interested to see how May River responds because, well, there's a lane issue, but I want to see how May River responds to this with the, uh, the confidence level and the mentality. Nice shot. So Cross got it to go. And it's 32 to 15 with five minutes and 30 seconds or so remaining in the quarter. Long pass and it is nearly intercepted. That pass came from Elizabeth Duncan, and Hilton Head's got it. Here's Gotson pulling it up. There's a three way downtown, a little bit off the mark from Cross. And Jackson thought about getting it inside, but she's going to let it go out of bounds. Five minutes and 15 seconds remaining. The assistant coaches for the May River girls, Brianna Kilberg, Michael Becker, and Tyree Lewis. And the assistant coaches for the Hilton Head girls. I'll have for you in a second as May River takes it across the floor. Kathleen morris -Rowe and Nikki Perry. And there's a jumper a little bit off the mark. Steven Skidrich and Karan, Brent, uh, Karan Webb are the principals. And the athletic directors, of course, you've got, Jer uh, you got Coach Pickham as the main athletic director for May River. And at the other end, Joe Monmanier for Hilton Head. But there are some assistants, Matt Whitmore, Richard Bonneville is one as well as Mysale Gadsen going inside and putting that shot up. It's blocked. It's going to be hitting near the baseline. 32-15 with 427 remaining in the third quarter of the Summit Services Girls Game of the Week on WHHI Sports TV. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Jackamont, Jeremy Pope, and Daniel Godson with you here in this one. Ball kicked, it's gonna go out of bounds. Reminder, our timeout sponsor, our food sponsor for tonight, Chicken Salad, Chicken Bluffton, delicious scratched made Southern style and served from the heart. I ate my salad during the second quarter when Daniel was on. It was dreamy. Yeah, I mean, the Fancy Nancy is something to behold, let me tell you. There's a three, bang, oh, bottoms! Boy. As it's Godson, I do believe, knocking that down. Yes, Deja, number 12, making it a 20-point game at 35 to 15. That ball is going to be taken away. Going inside was Cross. She gives it up. Putting it up is Roten. Didn't get that to go, but Godson corrals the rebound. Second chance for Hilton Head. Fister with a good pass. And a nice glide inside from Roten, but she got bumped, it looked like. May River. Again, six and one on the year, but they haven't been playing as much. And they are currently down 35 to 15 with 353 remaining in quarter number three. Kevin, let's hear from Superior Services. Superior Services, make the superior choice. Well done, that was completely from memory. No, sir, yeah, was it? I'm not, no, oh, it's right you're in front sly. of me. You see that? You were looking out of the corner of your eye. I 347 to go. I never did have a mind to lose. <laughs> Reminder again, make the right call, become a high school official, be the difference maker in your community that your community needs, highschoolofficials.com. May River with a basketball, a huge deficit at 35-15 at the moment. They're going inside out, there's a three, bang! Put it down, a court lifestyle pros three-point play 
for number 10, Brooke Dalton, the ball handler. She can score, she did it there. That's a triple. Hilton Ed with the basketball, and beautiful attempt at a save, but actually it went off May River, so it will remain with Hilton Head. Beautifully done as that ball was fired in, and it went again off May River, and number 21 for the Sharks, so Hilton Head will retain possession. Yeah, we got Cat Gavin coming in. So Gavin comes in. There's a jumper a little bit too strong. Dalton averaging 11.5 points per game. And going across the floor is Taylor. She gives it off to Dalton. Dalton kicks it on over, and we have a whistle with two minutes and 56 seconds left in quarter number three. Substitution train continues. Seeing a lot of that. They're getting everybody in. It's a 20 point game. Three minutes to play in the third quarter. Marcus, I love the atmosphere in this place. The cheer squads have not lost an inch of energy. Natalia Fruin getting into the action, I do believe, here at certain points in this one. 2.47 to play. Going inside, putting one up, not able to get it to go down is Roten. And the rebound goes to Ashley Williams. Williams. Gives it off, and it goes over to Taylor, number 11. There you go. There's a nice move by Taylor. Put that one up and down. Well done. That was Taylor made. <laughs> That's great. I'm the best. You certainly are. <laughs> There's a reason I love working with you so much. That goes off the mark, and the rebound goes to May River. Taylor May. It's another jump ball. Oh, man. Speaking of Taylor May, you are a big fan of home improvement with Tim the Tool Man. Oh, yeah. And want to give us an RRR? Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's more of like Santa Claus. Ho, oh. ho, ho. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Very nice. Hey, kids, there was a show on 30 years ago that we watched called Home Improvement. It was a doggone good show. Let me tell you why. Here's Hilton Ed, Roten, that's gonna come up well short. Well short that is, Gotson three, buckets! Bottoms, put it down, Deja Gotson! And it's 38 to 20, with a minute and 40 seconds remaining in the third. May River with a basketball, driving is Taylor, driving is Taylor, she gives it up. Dalton, connects! Brooke Dalton. Having a game. Absolutely. 38-22. And quickly going the other way. Hilton Head misfires the rebound. Goes to Ashley Williams. Williams finds Dalton, and Dalton being stuck to by Cross. Nice pass going on the inside. Fruin with it. There's a jumper for Taylor. Comes up short. Fruin gets the rebound. And sticking to her like Lewis Cross. Elmers, I tell you. That pass a little bit too strong. Hilton Head trying to corral wow. it. Awfully close. <laughs> It was, it was really well played, because it was going to be a back court. So she made sure, Dalton, really well played. She made sure that the other, her opponent touched the ball first. Really cool play. Rick Puente in his 33rd year officiating. Mike D'Elia in his 14th. John Dodson in his 15th. That's the crew. Officials work to maintain the integrity of the sports they officiate and ensure student athletes have a safe environment to play them in. Without our officials, our student athletes would not be able to enjoy the sports they love. So show your appreciation to an unsung hero of interscholastic contests today. This is a tough game to call, and this crew has done a great job. They, they certainly have, and you said that Dodson's the head official. He's listed third on my sheet. Oh, I just was saying I know yes. him really well, because um, oh, okay. Daniel was saying he's new to basketball, because obviously he did a lot of football. Right, but when we, I was, we saw him earlier this year on WHHI Sports TV. He did, he did a great job with the coin toss, one of my favorite additions to our football product. <laughs> uh, but Dodson's, I just want to get up, Dodson's been doing this a long time. He trained with me, Sheldon Bolds taught us classes back when I was doing it. Sheldon um, Bolds, what a name. He's my guy. A good official too. I might be in the best, but if you get out there and you, you get to get this crew, it's gonna be a fair contest. It's a very well officiated games tonight. Freeland at the line in a 38-22 game with 38.6 seconds to go. His name is escaping me for a moment, but who's the older official that you Al? worked with? Al Hammonds, yeah. yes. Going inside, 
and driving hard, but not able to make anything out of that possession was Hilton Head. We saw Al for football. I really hope we get to catch him for basketball. He's a legend. I'm sure we will. We typically we typically see him for both uh, throughout the year. As that was Aliana Rickard for Hilton Head that had the basketball momentarily. That shot goes up by Eleanor Best and it misfires. Best gets it back, puts it up and down. Eleanor Best at her best on a second opportunity. And it's 40 to 22 with 10 seconds remaining in the quarter. Dalton kicks it over to Taylor. Taylor driving inside, puts it up with the right hand from the left side of the paint. And that came up well short, but it looked like she was bumped with 3.9 seconds to go. And she's going to the free throw line is Taylor. She's having a great game. In basketball, it's always easier when you're taller. For a player that's undersized, she really has a ton of fight. Right. She plays bigger than her stature, which is Absolutely. the way to be in life. That one goes up, ring around the rim and out. She got absolutely burned on that attempt. That should have gone down. That is the end of quarter number three. Our score is 40 to 22 in favor of Hilton Head High over May River High. It's the girls game of the week in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series. Fourth quarter next on WHHI Sports TV. Come on back y'all. I'm Daniel Court. And I'm Debbie Court. And we are Court Lifestyle Pros of Charter One Realty. Some of the buyers and sellers that we encounter naturally experience that fear of change. But we once heard that life truly begins at the end of our comfort zones. So if you're ready to make a change, give us a call and let us lead you home. Announcing the inaugural season of college basketball at the University of South Carolina, Beaufort. Get ready to join in on the frenzy and excitement of college basketball as the Sand Sharks take on opponents at home in the USCB Recreation Center located on campus at One University Boulevard in Bluffton, South Carolina. You can find home and away game schedules for both men and women teams on uscbathletics.com. Don't miss this amazing season and catch the frenzy everyone is talking about. We go to the fourth quarter, the money quarter, as Brent Musburger used to say. May River trailing 40 to 22, just underway in quarter number four. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Jackamont, Jeremy Pope, Daniel Godson. My girlfriend's also here. She was helping us pre-game. Hi, Sam. Enjoying the festivities here at May River High at the Shark Tank. The Hilton Head High School Athletic Department introduced the hiring of new head varsity girls coach in 2019, Russell Resniewski. He attended Coker University as a three-year starter on the Coker men's basketball team as May River still has possession of the basketball. Hey. And Dalton fires and connects. He graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Sports Management, Master of Science from Coker University and College Athletic Administration. Also obtained a Master's of Education from Xavier University in Coaching Education as that jumper misfires. And it's going to go back to Hilton Head. Also athletic development is what he studied. Coach Rizuski has been coaching basketball in South Carolina for 17 years prior to his stint here. There's a jumper a little bit off the mark for Hilton Head. And May River with Fruland going to get it back, give it off to Dalton, and her pass going to go down the floor. He's had all sorts of classifications, successes, coached in West Florence for a decade, assistant with Marion High School, head varsity coach at Hannah Pamlico High School, girls assistant at Darlington High School, last year assistant boy basketball coach at May River. That's 2018-19. Married to Amanda, have two children, Bella and Derek. He is excited to be and continues to be excited about being part of the Hilton Head Island Athletic Community and is eager to continue and put on great work for Hilton Head Athletics. What you got for me, Kev? Oh, Larry's just uh, leaning in with a little more on, uh, on Coach Bingham, if you like it. Absolutely, that's gonna go out of bounds. Still 40 to now 24 with 6.30 to go in the ball game. Mentors in high school for Coach Jermaine Bigham 
Lewis Jenkins, who won a couple of state championships in Georgia, has over 400 wins for his career. Hey. That bucket goes down, along with the college coach of Jermaine Bigham, Gerald Sharp, taught him the fundamentals of the overall game of basketball. Elizabeth Duncan, an athlete that comes early, stays late every day, or could stay late every day, if possible. And she is definitely the glue of this May River team, in my opinion, and you might find most saying that. Quote, I said, Mike. Everyone's got an opinion. Nice shot. Absolutely. Kid. Going oh. inside, putting that one up and down was Roten, and they called it off, right, Kev? No, no, no. Right. They didn't? Okay. Well, what we got? I, I saw the. I saw oh, the, they said the before look. the shot, you're right. So a common foul, not a shooting foul. 6.01 to go, 42-24. Deja Godson will inbound for Hilton Head. And we talk about certainly the glue for May River being Brooke Dalton. Right now, Deja Godson is the glue for Hilton Head, especially with, uh, with Linda Young out with an ACL injury. Here's Dalton, 44-24. Nice pass going to Fruland. She's gonna kick it back to Dalton, trying to get around cross, puts a shot up, didn't get it to go. Rebound goes to Emily Fister. Look out for Emily Fister, folks. She's been at it a while, and she is a doggone good player. Agreed. Here's Roten going up against Freeland. Gives the extra step, puts it up on the left side for two, and it's 46-24. Oh, she's having a game. No doubt about it. Five minutes, 17 seconds remaining in regulation. And Dalton misfires on the jumper. Trying to get the rebound was Williams. Ball loose in possession of Leah Jackson and a whistle with Leah Jackson near the free throw line. I like the Leah Jackson, Ashley Williams matchup. Leah Jackson's been tremendously impactful. We'll talk about it more after the break. We've got a break in the Summit Services High School Game of the Week. It's the girls game of the week in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series. 5-11 to go, 46-24 in favor of Hilton Head. Back with more next. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. We welcome you back. 5-11 to play here in regulation. 46-24, Hilton Head leads in the Carolina Blue. They've got the basketball, and they're working inside. Jackson working on a couple of May River Sharks. Ball loose, she corrals it. Gives it off to Roten. And Roten going inside. She got bumped by Ashley Williams. Manages to stay on her feet. Freeland, though, did hit the deck. Everybody's up, everybody's okay. And going to the free throw line, shooting a pair is one for uh, for Hilton Head. That's uh, I'll have it for you. I I lost it. Oh, it's it's a Fister, dude. It's Emily. Number one for Hilton Head. No, who's at the line? Oh, number one for May River. For Hilton Head. Oh, I'm sorry, Hilton Head, 21. Hello. Um, that's Roten. Uh, there it is. Roten's at the line. Sorry about that, folks. Marcus, thank God one of us is paying attention. There's a rebound, and it's going off of number five cross. It's going back to Hilton Head, and Jackson going inside, not able to get it to go, but she looks ahead <laughs> to the line. I just love fashion. Look how fired up she Absolutely. is. Absolutely. She's been this way since the start. She's like the Rashid Wallace, she's an enforcer. Reminder that Sports Addiction is your bike, sports, and fitness equipment store for over 20 years. I love confidence at the youth level. At basket, in this game, height helps. So if you're the biggest person on the floor, you should try to be intimidating. And again, go get it. I got no problem with people putting their personality in the workplace. Nice game tonight for Leah Jackson. Go to work. Four minutes, 45 seconds to go. Jackson buries it. And it's 47 to 24. Let us hear Kev from Superior Services. Superior Services, make the superior choice. Skip the drive through, make a meal, make something good. Marcus, when I was in high school, 
The best I ever got in terms of uh, brownie points was I made my girlfriend dinner. There you go. What'd you make? I did an orange chicken. Ooh, nice. Sesame seeds? Thick and, oh, like, no, Asian? I wasn't that fancy. I just bought a thing of marmalade and threw it in a crock pot. Oh, there you go. That but works, too. I'll tell you, buddy, that got me some some uh, Major kudos. brownie points. It was a heck of a lot more than what I got for a very expensive Valentine's Day meal. There you go. Duncan had the basketball momentarily. Dalton and Duncan working it, giving it off to Freeland. That shot going to come up well short, going to go out of bounds. Let us hear from Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth. The Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth, uniting the community to promote positive choices. Yes, indeed, and they do that. Special thanks to Daniel Godson for coming by. Our guy. Absolutely, yours, yours and mine both. And again, we're going to have him in the second quarter of the girls' game next week, as we'll see Hilton Head at home against Bluffton. Going inside. Putting that shot up with Jackson. It's a little bit off the mark. And the rebound is going to go to Taylor. She lost it. It's going to go out of bounds. 47-24, 3.58 to go in this one. The one good thing that we've seen from both these teams for sure, and we haven't really mentioned it much at all, is it's been a clean game. Not many fouls to speak of. In the case of May River, a lot of their shots just haven't been able to go down. I agree. I think the ball control has been pretty darn good. I like the play calling offensively and these shots. Oh. And that three didn't go down for Roten. Second chance opportunity, not good. Third chance is good from the left side. Put that one up and down for Hilton Head. And it's now 49-24. They are in command up by 25. That's a pass that will be stolen away. Nice pass from Dalton to the corner of the floor, but the relay on the other side, not good. Fister misses, it's gonna go out of bounds, hitting the deck hard, but getting back on her feet is number 10, Brooke Dalton. And to inbound will be Elizabeth Duncan, number 30, the freshman. Duncan averaging 11.2 points per game on the season. Great player, really high skill level. One of those players that likes to stay as often as they can and uh, Come in early, stay as late as often as they can. A gym rat? You're saying a she's gym a gym rat? rat. Ah. Well said. There are worse things to be called, I tell you. Without question. Here's Taylor giving it off. Ball tipped, and it is loose, and Hilton Head's going to corral it. Here's Deja Godson going inside, left hand, not quite. Trying to get the rebound. Oh, my goodness! She kicks it off to cross. No, but what a chance there. And a third opportunity for Hilton Head. Now it's stolen away. Pass from Fister a little bit too strong. Here's Dalton. Fister nearly swiped it, but she was unable to do it. It was missed by Dalton. Rebound by Jackson. We've got a whistle, and we've got 2.49 to go in the second half of the ball game. I wonder. I feel like Kevin Arlen. Look at you, buddy. I wonder if we're shooting. Yep. Leah Jackson, a volleyball and basketball player, averaging 9.3 points per game, 6.4 rebounds, 10 blocks, 5'10". And she is a junior point or a, a junior power forward and at the line. Thank you, Larry Jackamon. So this is our first South Carolina High School League game. That's right. No more one-on-one, one one, Marcus. We've got two more matchups coming up with Hilton Head hosting Bluffton next week in girls' action and then Bridges Prep and Whale Branch, that'll be at Whale Branch. Of course, we've got a whole bunch of guys action, including this matchup coming up later. 2.49 to go in the ball game, 50 to 24. Just six total fouls in the second half, four from Hilton Head, two from the home team, May River. May River corrals the rebound off the miss from Jackson, and they're gonna take it across the floor as May River is working it. Now Hilton Ed's got it off a missed chance, as I believe that was Rachel Wynn, number 20, that had the basketball for May River. And standing up there now is Elizabeth Duncan, five foot four, shooting guard, point guard, freshman. Considering they haven't played that many games, it's a good chance for these Sharks to get some reps in. Yes, indeed, absolutely. And Hilton Ed's gonna corral possession of the basketball. They're gonna work it. Across the floor, tipped by Duncan. It's going to go out of bounds with 2.21 remaining in the ballgame. So we're going to get to see some of the, uh, you know, the, the 
a little further down the bench, folks. The folks that, you know, a little bit closer to what I was when I was a basketball player. Mostly right. somebody that kept the bench nice and warm. Hilton had six and seven all time. Lost 64-51 to May River on January 31st of 2023. And some numbers on your coaches. Jermaine Bigham, the interim AD, of course. 82 and 77 all time, 33 and 31 in region play, six and six uh, as well. And on the other side for Hilton Head, 44 and 61 all time is Russell Resniewski is the head coach of the Hilton Head Ladies, 16 and 21 in region play coming in, four and three versus May River all time, took over for Sean Rochester in 2019-20. Jermaine Bigham and Matt Whitmore, who we'll see in the guys game, have been here since the inception of May River High. And they have been the coaches of both those teams. I'll mention this certainly in the guys game, but Shane Brown came in in 1920 as well, taking over for Ken Updike, who was at Hilton Head in for the 19, better part of a decade. In 1920? Yeah. And I'll check that for you. I'll have it for you later. He's 114 years old, everybody. <laughs> it's 2020. I'm just, I'm, I've made so many mistakes tonight, Marcus. I'm just trying to Get my confidence back. I'll be ready for the boys. No, game. you're good, man. Thanks, you're good. Buddy. 154 remaining. Always in my corner, Marcus Walsh. Absolutely. And Kevin Libby's always in mine. I have no doubt of that. You're my guy. Here's a three. A little bit off the mark. And the rebound is going to go to Ooh. May River as hitting the floor hard. And getting right back up. And good getting job, right kid. back up was number 20. That was a that was definitely That was a difficult. spill, but she mopped herself right up, and look yeah. at you, right back to work. Rachel Wynn, like that. Rachel, good job. One minute, 37 seconds to go. You're my go-to guy, Marcus. Rickard gives it over. I say, if not more than my guy, my go-to guy. Thank you, buddy. Hilton Head working outside pressure, and a little bit of pressure inside of Leah Jackson is going to go out of bounds. One minute, 25 seconds in a 50 to 24 ball game. It's been fun, Marcus. The ladies it have is. a lot of talent on the floor. I, I see some great uh, yeah, yeah, practice pays off, and you can see you can see the work. May River moving the basketball across the floor, stolen away. Hilton Head with numbers. Lena one up for two, count it and one. Hilton Head going back to the line. A three-point play the old-fashioned way. Court Lifestyle Pros. Court Lifestyle Pros, a Charter One Realty. Let us lead you home. Yes, indeed. And Rachel Wynn with some action, number 20 for Bluffton, but that was number 24, Hilton Head. And well done by Madison Hall. She got it. Take that, Shark. 53-24. I, love, I was my high school mascot. I have a lot of affection for the mascot. Oh, there you go. I didn't know that. Mine was the Panthers. I Loose was a ball. Panther. Loose ball. It's taken back the other way. Putting that one up a little bit strong. Hey. Second chance from the left side. Put that one up and then up and down rather for Aliana Richard. And it's 55, 24, oh, under a minute. Stolen one. away look again. This one. There she goes. Lay in. Count it on the right side as Aliana Richard, the shooting guard, point guard, junior. Back-to-back -back buckets in a matter of seconds. Call Stolen that. away, oh. and Hilton had, had a chance, but they are hit down to the floor as number 24 hits the deck for Hilton Head. And we're gonna do some more shooting. Aliana Richard, though, nice sequence. Call that kid butter. She's on a roll. Absolutely. So, were you the Panthers in college, did you say? No, gosh, no. We were the UMass Minutemen. We may be Minutemen, oh, yeah, of but you know, uh, that's your own joke to be made. But I tell you, the Panthers are fun costume to, to get. You know, lots of fur. We never, it, was a, it was a football mascot for the most part, and you were never cold. Again, we'll have Hilton Head and Bluffton for you from Hilton Head next week. 57 24, 38.6 seconds to go. What was your high school mascot? Panther. Oh, okay. What was your, what was yeah, your college mascot? That. Eagle. Oh, you're a bird I was man. the National University Eagle. Free throw missed. 57 24. 33 seconds left. Ball loose, picked up. And loose again. 
still up in the air. May River's got it. They're going to drive inside. That's going to come up well short. Hilton Head has got it. And they are going to head on their way, 20 seconds away from a big win to get to six on the year and six and 13. May River will fall to six and two on the season as we have a whistle with 13.1 seconds to go. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Jackamot, Jeremy Pope, Daniel Godson, my girlfriend Sam Wolf helped us with the pregame getting things situated. And she is here watching the action as well. Turning her into a sports fan one day at a time. Ball on the side of the May River Sharks and White. They still have it. Seven seconds left. Shout out to West Kerr, Justin Jarrett, the Loco guys. Ball loose. Picked up by Hilton Head. They're going to roll this baby on out. And you can book this one to the Hilton Head Seahawks. A big win to get to their seventh win of the year. They win 57-24. May River falls to 6-2. For Kevin Libby, Jeremy Pope, Larry Jackamont, Daniel Godson, the rest of our WHHI crew, I'm Marcus Walsh saying so long from the Shark Tank. This is Big Girls Basketball, the Summit Services High School Basketball Series. We'll see you Hilton Head, Hilton Head hosting Bluffton next week on WHHI Sports TV. And until then, so long, everybody.